Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will design a base shear for a multi-story building. So, in order to find the base shear for a multi-story building, so we have to require two main data. The first one is soil type where the building is constructing, and the second one is zone type that where the building will be constructing. So the first one is soil type and the second one is zone so now you can see uh, the given data is the soil type is step soil so uh, we consider it SD soil and the structure is located in zone 3 you can find the zone from the uh, seismic map of your country uh, so how to calculate the weight we have a two method the first one is add the column weight add the column self weight plus the beam and slab and the second method is uh, take a midpoint here and here and under this region calculate the weight of the column slab and beam so you will get the w1 so the story height is 12 feet and the height of the building is 60 feet now come to the solution so first of all for zone 3 and sd soil so i use here ubc 97 so for zone 3 the z value is 0 0.030 and we have a soil type hard rock rock so for hard rock we take it sa for rock sb very dense soil sc stiff soil we have a stiff soil in given statement so you can take is a soil profile type sd soil now for soft soil you can take se now come to the solution the for base shear we have a formula cvi divided by rtw so cv is the seismic coefficient i is the importance factor r is for smrf we take is 8.5 and t is the time w is the weight of the whole structure so first we find the cv you can find the CV value from table 16R so here in UBC 97 now the CV value is Z is equal to 0.3 because it is located at zone 3 and the soil type is SD soil we have a value of CV is 0.54 so here I take it from table 0.54 now the importance factor depend depend on the type of the structure if it is a hospital so we take it 1.25 you can take the i value importance value from the table here i can show you this is the importance factor for essential facility we take it 1.25 so for standard occupancy we take it 1 so it depends on the type of the structure so here now the cv is 0.54 i is 1 now the r value is 8.5 we take it smrf 8.5 and the t is the time so the time formula is t is equal to ct hn 3 by 4 so hn hn is the total height of the story and ct depend on the type of the structure if it is a steel structure so we take it 0.035 for concrete structure for rcc structure we take it 0.30 so here the structure is rcc so we take the value of ct 0.030 so here we put the 0.030 hn is equal to total height of the structure so which is 60 feet into 3 by 4 
so the t value is 0.646 second now find the w value from the figure we have w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 add all the loads which is equal to the 3900 caps now you can put the value in this equation so cv.54 i is 1 r is 8.5 T is 0.646 and the W is 3900. After calculation, we get T83 kips. So it is the uh, base shear. Mm -hmm. Now we can check our base shear, the lower limit and the upper limit. So our design value is not exceed from this equation. So in this equation, you can see uh, there is another a coefficient which is CA. It is also called seismic coefficient and we can take it from table so all the value are given so first we find the ca value from ubc 97 we can find the ca value our soil type is sd soil and the zone is 0.3 so we take the value of ca 0.36 so here the ca value is 0.0 0.36 now v is equal to 2.5 ca is equal to 0.36 multiply i1 divided by r 8.5 multiply by w3900 caps the value is 4.13 caps so our value is less than from this so it's mean that our value is okay now we can apply the check of lower value so the lower value the formula is v is equal to 0.11 ca i w ca is equal to 0.36 now simple put the value in this equation you will get the value of v is 1.54.44 caps so our value is in between these limits so it's mean that uh, the design value is 383 caps on next video we will distribute this video on story level if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get more update thank you